six years earlier. Mommy and Daddy were furious when my aunt and uncle left. I made sure to scurry back to my bedroom so they wouldn't discover that I had been eavesdropping on the conversation, but that wasn't sufficient to prevent them from taking out their ire on me. Spankings were a common occurrence, but if they decided to discipline me twice in one day, the second punishment that was administered would be something different. The only saving grace was that Daddy left the diaper on while he gave the spanking. Though on the other hand, as I got left in the diaper for the rest of the evening without getting changed, it might have actually been better to just have gotten the bare bottom spanking if that meant going back to wearing pull-ups. After spending the remainder of Thanksgiving Day in diapers, I was back to wearing pull-ups again. I may as well have been wearing diapers as I only managed to get the toilet on a couple of occasions. If my best efforts at toilet training weren't going to be successfully, then what was the point of even trying? I'd even messed my pull-ups twice over the weekend, on purpose, something that I'd have never dared do before, but the vindictiveness of making mommy have to clean up a poopy diaper cheered me up a little. Mommy had woken Elaine up early on the morning after Thanksgiving for Black Friday shopping. They left me at home. By the time I had gotten out of bed, in a wet diaper of course, they had returned with their prized purchases. They had bought Elaine a pink, electric car that she was driving around the yard at 5 miles per hour. The reply I got from my younger sister when I asked if I could have a turn was that babies aren't allowed to drive cars.